Hello everyone, today we will learn a very important interview question. We will see the different test cases for a banking application and how net banking works in that. In your interview, definitely you will get some questions around test cases. Maybe your interviewer will ask, tell me what and all different scenarios you will test for a website or for a banking application or insurance application or any other mobile app. So, this video will help you how to answer such type of questions. Also, I am planning to bring up more videos on this kind of practical questions. Anyway, without any other delay, let's start. Whenever you get a question on building test cases, be clear about the requirement. Ask your interviewer, for example, if it is a banking application, what and all workflows you need to cover or you need to build test cases. In that way, you will not miss any major workflow which your interviewer is expecting. Anyway, here we will talk about all this functionality like login functionality, functionality for a new user, account overview, adding beneficiary, money transfer, banking service request. So, we will try to build test cases around all these functionalities. Okay. So, first let us talk about the login functionalities. Okay. So, what and all scenarios you will test for the login functionality. Okay. So, you can start something like this. Validate that a registered user can log in successfully with correct username and password. Test various combinations of incorrect usernames and passwords and ensure that the system does not allow access. Check if the system is case sensitive when comparing usernames during login. After a certain number of failed login attempts, ensure that the user account is locked and cannot be accessed until unlocked by an administrator. Ensure that users can deactivate their accounts and that they cannot log in after deactivation. Verify that the session times out correctly after the specified period of inactivity. Verify that inappropriate error messages are displayed for different login failure scenarios such as incorrect password, account logged or invalid username. Test the logout functionality to ensure users can log out securely and that they cannot access restricted pages after logout. Verify that session data is maintained securely and cannot be tampered with. Test the behavior of the login functionality when users use the browser's back button after logging out. You can also write some more scenarios related to forget password. So, verify that there is a clear and easily accessible link or button on the login page to access the forgot password functionality. Check that submitting a password reset request with a valid email address or username generates a confirmation message. Validate that an email with a password reset link is sent to the user's register email address. Confirm that after successfully resetting the password, the user receives a confirmation message. Validate that user can log in with the new password after resetting it. So, all these are your login related test cases. Now, we will come to new user. So, if someone is a very new user and have not registered to your website, then what and all scenarios will write? Validate that the user registration form is accessible and displays correctly in various browsers and devices. Ensure that all required fields like name, email ID, password, date of birth, mobile number all are present and labeled correctly. Test input validation for each field like for the email field you should enter valid email ID 
for the password field for the date of birth format. So, all these things should have proper input validation. Verify that appropriate error messages are displayed for invalid inputs. For example, you are giving wrong email id. So, it should give you proper error messages. Test that system prevents users from registering with an email address that is already associated with an existing account. Verify that the user's password is securely encrypted and stored in the database. Check if the application sends a confirmation email with a verification link to the user's provided email address. Confirm that users can successfully register and log in after email verification. Verify that the registration form includes a captcha or a similar mechanism to prevent automated bug registrations. Confirm that the new user is assigned the appropriate user role that is customer during the registration. Verify that the application displays clear and user friendly error messages for registration failures example email already in use or server error. Then we will move to the next one that is our account overview. So, verify that user can access the account overview page after successfully logging in. Validate that only authorized users can view their account overview and that unauthorized users are redirected to the login page. Confirm that the account overview displays a summary of the user's account example savings or loans. Check that clicking on each account in the overview provides detailed information including account number, transaction history and interest rates if that is applicable. Verify that the transaction history for each account is displayed correctly and includes details such as date, description, amount and transaction type. Test the functionality to download account statements or generate PDF statements for each account. Verify that the account overview respects the user's selected currency and local preference. Confirm that the application correctly identifies and categorize different account types like savings or credit card. Right. Check if users receives alerts or notification for important account events like low balance, large transactions, you should get proper notification. Then we will go to adding beneficiary. So, verify that users can access the beneficiary management section from the main menu or dashboard. Ensure that the beneficiary addition form is accessible and displays correctly in various browsers and devices. Confirm that the beneficiary addition form includes fields for beneficiary name, account number, bank name, branch details and payment methods like NEFT, RTGS, IMPS. Test input validation for each field in the beneficiary addition form ensure that the application prevents users from adding the same beneficiary more than once. Test the process for verifying the beneficiary details which may involve sending an OTP or confirmation email. Confirm that users receives a confirmation page or message after successfully adding a beneficiary. Test the ability to edit beneficiary details including name, account number and payment method. Confirm that users can delete a beneficiary from their list if they no longer need it. Then we will move to the money transfer section. Verify that user can access the money transfer section from the main menu or dashboard. Test the ability to select recipients like beneficiary, beneficiaries from the user's beneficiary list for the money transfer. Confirm that the application verifies recipient details like account number, beneficiary name before proceeding with the transfer. Test the ability to enter the transfer amount ensuring it meets account balance and transaction limits. Test various payment methods like NEFT, RTGS, IMPS 
and ensure that the selected methods is processed correctly. Check the option to include a message or note with the money transfer. Ensure that users are required to enter a valid PIN or receive any OTP before completing the transfer. Confirm that the transaction details are accurately recorded in the user's transaction history. Verify that application enforces transaction limits and communicates these limits clearly to users. Then we will move to the banking service request. Verify that users can access the service request section of the application from the main menu or dashboard. Test different types of service request including account statements, fund transfers, bill payments, account closure and credit or debit card authorization depending on the application's offering. Verify that each service request type has a dedicated form with appropriate fields. Test input validation for service request forms checking for valid data entry and proper error handling for invalid entries. Test whether users receives a confirmation email with the details of their service request. Check that users can track the status of their service request whether they are pending, in progress or completed. Verify that the application displays clear and user friendly error messages for service request submission failures. Test the process of cancelling a pending service request before it is processed. See if the service request option allows users to access their credit or debit card bill statements. Check if users can apply for new cards and block old ones. So, these are the different different scenarios for all these functionalities ok. So, that is all if there are any other specific requirements you got in your interview then you can also build more test cases in this format ok. I hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video please press the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you bye bye.